Hey guys, this is Lance Hey Nico! Hey Nico! If we're gonna be heading into the police station. Huh. I have done just as I have been instructed, no Professor. With the mine closed down, there'll be no one around to observe your excavations. Ah, I have visitors. Just remember what I told you, General. There's really no need to make a martyr out of that man. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, senor. Welcome to Quarmonte. Thanks. My name's George Stobart from California. But what is this? An angel come down to Earth. Nicole Collard. Enchanté, mon général. Pardon me, senorita, but I couldn't help myself. Uh, look, we'd like to ask you a few questions. You've come to the right place, senor. The tourist information. General Graciento, at your service. Okay, let's get this going, shall we? Do you know anything about the forthcoming eclipse, general? And such things do not interest me, senor. Take a look at this label. Si, senor. Condor Transglobal. Can you tell me where to find their offices? No, senor. I've never heard of them, and neither did Ronaldo. What do you think of these panties, General? Oh, boy, fabuloso. They're yours if you'll tell me all you know about Karzak. Karzak? i never heard of him. Do I get the panties now? I told you all I know. You told me nothing. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this before? That's a native carving, isn't it? Where did you get it? We picked it up in the market, as a souvenir. Would you like a biscuit? Are you trying to bribe me? Well, every man has his price. Mine is more than a dog cookie, Senor Stobart. I want to see someone except they need a biscuit. How epic would that be? We've had enough of Quaramonte, and we want out. Am I stopping you? The guy at the docks tells me I need an exit visa. Ask Ronaldo. He'll make the arrangements. That's what he's here for. Are there any ruins around the city? Of course, Senor. Quaramonte has everything. I have a friend who wants to visit an historical site. Ronaldo will only be too pleased to conduct a guided tour when he's dealt with today's paperwork, of course. Is it true there's a restriction on music in Quaramonte? Yes, there is. An emergency measure introduced by Nuestra Senora. Folk music is a link with the past for some of these people. Take away their musical roots and what do they got left? Easy listening. You think easy listening could replace a musical heritage hundreds of years old? Why not? It happens in your country. <laughs> I hear there was an accident at the mine a few months ago. That's correct. A lot of men killed, weren't there? A few. Thirty? <laughs> Barely one percent of the working population. This is the tourist office? It says police on the sign outside. It is both. Senor, I am a man of many parts. I can see that, General. Are you sure you never heard of Condor? Oh, yes. The company is registered here, in Quaramonte City. You are mistaken, Senorita. The musicians out in the square say that a ship flying the Condor flag was birthed here. They are simple peasants. They will go along with anything you say in the hopes of parting you from your money. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. Condor is run by Karzak, isn't it? 
Wrong again, senor. Karzak has nothing to do with anything called Condor, whoever he is. Do you keep a record of companies registered in Quaramonte? Of course, senorita. Unfortunately, all the records were destroyed by a flash flood. And how convenient. Who was the guy you were talking to when we arrived? Professor Oubier. A visitor, senor, like yourselves. Did you say Oubier? <laughs> Professor Oubier, a French archaeologist. What's Oubier doing in Quaramonte? Researching our rich and glorious class, senor. The professor is planning an expedition to some Mayan ruins. He came to see me to get an excavation permit. I'll be back. Okay, anything else going on around here we can check out? A couple of special offer letters were strewn across the desk. I had no need for junk mail, especially someone else's. It was General Graciento, Maramonte's reigning slime ball. I'd asked him all I'd wanted to for now. A safe was tucked under the desk. The safe was undoubtedly locked. Yeah, probably. Monitor. It was a computer monitor with some kind of outdated game displayed on it. Is it solitaire? What is it? Seriously. Looks like... I don't know. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. Ah, uh, there's always time for games, George. Come on, man. What are you talking about? Television. The television was showing what appeared to be a low-budget soap. A tall man with long blonde hair was shouting at a woman who was naked apart from a towel. Hmm. I decided to leave the television switched on. Okay. Ronaldo. I had the eyes of a cocker spaniel set in a face like a deflated souffle. I couldn't help wondering what had driven him to work for a man like the general. Hi, I'm George Stobart. Hello, senor. How can I help you? Do you know anything about this eclipse? No, senor. El General keeps me in the dark about most things. That doesn't surprise me either. Do you recognize this statue? Is that the book? The night wind. Take the way, senor. That stone is cursed. Yep. Yeah. Nobody likes that stone, that's for sure. Would you like a gourmet dog snack biscuit? I would love one, senor. But I would have a problem with my teeth. Toothache? No, senor. If the general catches me eating on duty, he'll knock them out. <laughs> so basically you're saying you would eat a dog biscuit then. It's, it's interesting. I'm trying to get out of Cuaramonte. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be able to buy back half my family. Never mind them. What about my visa? We don't take visa. I didn't ask if you take a visa. I want you to give me a visa. I can't help you, senor. I don't understand these things. Are there any ancient pyramids near Cuaramonte? Si, senor. But it's not very impressive. It's in the ruins. That's perfect. Would you be willing to give a guided tour of the ruins? I can. The general would have a feat if I left all this paperwork. So long. Uh, let's see. Can we go in the back? Anything else going on here? A filing cabinet Filing's stood fine. in the corner. The filing cabinet was probably locked. Everything is locked, of course. It was the map which the general had been showing to Professor Oubier. Senor, leave the child alone. Somebody's hiding something. Senor, 
sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't going to try investigating the passage while the general was sat there. Okay, so I guess that's all we can do here for now. So let's, let's we'll head on in. Why did you show him the stone? I thought maybe he might know something about it. Well, he does now, for sure. He knows we have it. Uh. Let's see. Um. Let's see what's over here first. Hmm. It was that suspect archaeologist, Ubier. Dwayne? Professor Ubier? Yes. Who are you? My name is Stobart. George Stobart. I thought that face was familiar. Remember me, George? Dwayne Anderson. Hi, Dwayne. Uh, just a moment. I have a few questions to ask the professor here. Take a look at this, Professor. What have you got to say about that? Where did you get this? Never mind that. How do you explain these withdrawals? I left my financial affairs in the hands of my secretary. Including the withdrawal of funds in cash from your personal account? I trust with his implicitly. And why do you say? Why the very place my girlfriend was taken? That's obvious, Stobart. We are both the victims of the same devious plot. You know, what plot? I have no idea. Do you know anything about this eclipse, Professor? Of course. It's not the reason I'm here in Quaramonte, but I'm looking forward to seeing it all the same. Do you see this label? Yes. It refers to a company named Condo. What of it? I traced that company here to Quaramonte. Do you know where I can find the offices of Condor Transglobal? The company no longer exists. They went bankrupt recently. Hmm. I have proof that you are directly involved with Condor. I used them as shippers to transport artifacts to a gallery in Paris. Beyond that, I have no connection with the company, which, as I said, no longer exists. Can you identify this statue, Professor? Oh, yes. Tezcatlipoca. The Lord of Darkness. A Central American god, right? A supreme deity. Tezcatlipoca means, literally, smoking mirror. There. You see the mirror shield in his left hand? The Mayans believed he could look into the mirror and see into the hearts of men. He was the wind which came, howling in the night in search of victims. And victims they gave him by the thousand. Human sacrifices? Men, women. Children, animals, anything that bled. The steps of his temple ran red with the blood of sacrifices. The Mayans have a legend that says he'll return one day. I hope I'm not around to see it. Ho <laughs> ho Can you tell me anything about this stone? Where did you get that? This is the stone my girlfriend called you about. The stone that nearly cost Nico her life. I assure you, I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Would you like a biscuit? No, thank you. You should, they're good. Mm. <laughs> I can't do enough of these things. <laughs> Have you ever employed a Central American butler or servant? I've never employed any kind of servant, monsieur. What do you know about my girlfriend's abduction? I don't know what you're talking about. She was invited to your mansion in Paris. Not by me, she wasn't. I haven't been home for nearly seven months. Hmm. Tell me about your wife, Professor. Please, I... I don't want to talk about her. You shot her, didn't you? No. I loved Carol. She meant the world to me. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Yes, I know him. In fact, if it wasn't for Karzak, I wouldn't be here. 
What? He's financing my expedition. What's your interest in the eclipse, Professor? Oh, it's purely a layman's curiosity. History is my subject, not astronomy. But I've been fascinated by the movements of the heavenly bodies since I was a child. I wouldn't miss a total eclipse for the world. Does the eclipse have some special significance for you? For me? No. For the ancient Mayans, it marked the end of the fifth age. Perhaps we should be celebrating. Ah, no. The end of each age heralds destruction on a global scale. The fifth is the final age, ending in the total destruction of the Earth. I had nothing else to ask him just then. It was a beat-up old wreck of an army truck. Stealing trucks wasn't my style. It was Pearl's husband, Dwayne. What do you think of these panties, Dwayne? Lord, hot stuff, George. You buy those for your girl? No, a guy we know in Paris bought them for. Oh, you're a threesome then. Why are you looking at me like that, George? Forget it. <laughs> Do you know anything about a shipping company called Condor Transglobal? I never heard of it, son. Would you like to borrow my lucky piece of coal, Dwayne? What's so lucky about it? Well, we made it to Cuaramonte in one piece. When you've been here a few days, you won't look on that as luck. <laughs> Would you like a biscuit, Dwayne? Oh, no. Those gourmet dog snacks bring me out in a rash. You've tried them? They were on special offer. Pearl bought a whole crate. When I asked her if she was thinking of keeping a dog, too, she just laughed. Did you drive all the way down here? Hell no. Pearl did the driving while I followed the maps. The way she handled the wheel, you'd think she'd been trucking half her life. What's in the truck, Dwayne? Oh, uh, just camping equipment, sleeping bags and tents. Me and Pearl always hankered after a taste of the great outdoors. Aren't you worried about camping out in the tropical jungle? We had a trial run in West Virginia. This'll be a breeze in comparison. I spoke to Pearl earlier. Yeah? Did she mention that we had a kind of falling out? Yes, she did. She'll get over it. Hmm. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. <laughs> is that right? What's the real reason the musician was in prison? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. Does the name Karzak mean anything to you? Sounds like a comic book villain to me, son. He's the man behind Condor and the rat who kidnapped Nico. You know, the first time I met you, I was deeply impressed with your naive simplicity. I said to Pearl, if we ever had kids, I would have wanted a boy like George. But I underestimated you, son. Do you think the general was involved with Condor? Hell no. And if he's a general, I'm a Buddhist. No, that fella's just a mouthpiece for the real power in Quaramonte. So, the general is nothing but a puppet? He's like Pinocchio before he met the Blue Rinse Fairy. Strictly strings and wood. Who's pulling the strings? His mother. Better known as La Presidenta, the dictator. Are you still working for... you know who? Who's that, George? You know I'm retired. Oh, nothing. Uh, forget it. I confused you with somebody else. Oh, I do that all the time. Okay. Well, let's go over this way. Da -da -da -da. 
Let's see what else is going on around here. No. Hmm. I think we can go over there. You seem to go in there a lot. Go there though. What's going on there? Hey Nico! Or what came mine from me? Hola, señora. Hi. We were wondering. I was talking to the lady, Chico. Hi. My name is Nicole Collard. Concha Garcia. How can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm after. My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Would you be interested in these panties? They look about your size. Is that your best line, Chico? I'm serious. They were an unwanted gift. Put them away before you get overexcited. <laughs> Okay. Have you heard about the forthcoming eclipse? I don't take much interest in things like that. One of the boys might know about it. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. Nice fun. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. Can you tell me anything about this statue? It is the Scantley Book, the god of death and pestilence. That fetish would be considered by many to be a bad omen. Does this stone mean anything to you? I think it is a spirit stone carved by a Mayan priest, no? I don't know which of their many gods it represents. Would you like a dog biscuit? Would you like a smack in the mouth, Chico? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who owned Condor Transmobile? I have no idea. <laughs> Professor Ubia? Yes. I understand he is about to embark on an archaeological expedition. He hired some equipment from me earlier today. I overheard him talking to the general. I think they're working together. What? If I'd known that, I wouldn't have hired out the equipment. Now, why would the general be interested in an archaeologist? Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody wanted my mine closed down for good. Do you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire operation has been closed down. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teokulkan. Good to know. It was Conchita, the owner of the mining company. I had nothing else to talk about. It was a store cupboard. Keep out of there. Saw that one coming. That's where the explosives are stored. It was one of Conchita's posse of hunks.
Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Consolidated Mining. If you are planning to stay in Cuaramante City, may I recommend the Consolidated Mining Experience, an interactive hands-on tour of one of our deepest mines, with talking tour guides available in three different languages. A tour of a mine. Well, this is a mining company. What else did you expect? Do you know anything about the eclipse that's due soon? Me? No, senor. Do you know where I could find Senor Karzak? No, senor. How come you're not wearing any pants? I feel more alert without them. A kind of perky. And your boss doesn't mind? She suggested it. <laughs> okay, then. A disgustingly handsome man. Are you looking forward to the eclipse of the sun? Not especially. Are you? I don't know. I've never seen one. All I know about eclipses is that you shouldn't try to view them with the naked eye. Please, go away and let me get on with my work. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? Can't you see I'm busy? If I don't finish this stock report, the boss will be mad as hell. Okay, what about you? I couldn't understand why the female owner had surrounded herself with men like this. Did you know there's an eclipse of the sun in a few weeks' time? Yeah, Joe told me about it. He's having a party and we're all invited. Me and the boys are dressing up as evil monks. Yeah? Cool. Ever hear of a guy called Karzak? No, sir. And then finally the guy you. was working away like an automaton. Do you know anything about the eclipse? Yes, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I heard it's going to be pretty spectacular. It's in a few weeks' time, isn't it? Nine days, thanks. Ever heard of a guy called Karzak? No. Okay, so they don't seem to know anything. What about you? Anything to say? Do you have any theories about this stone? I think that design represents a dog, a Mexican dog. So, this is the sacred Chihuahua stone? Sheesh. Take a look at this. Mon Dieu! Where did you get that kind of money? It's not mine. I found that statement at Ubier's house. Take a look at this. An eclipse of the sun. Why the sudden interest in astronomy? I found the cutting in Ubier's house. Apparently, it's only visible from Central America. Take a look at this, Nico. That's disgusting, Georges. Why are you carrying it around with you? I don't know. I just can't seem to part with it. <laughs> guess what this is. Go on, guess. It's wrought iron, probably from a chimney stack on an old stove. Uh, well, I suppose it could be. How did she know that? My grandfather used to work in a foundry. <laughs> Would you like a biscuit? Gourmet dog? Have you been eating those things, George? Sure, they're great. <laughs> oh, God. That man was so talking to the gentleman was Ubier. Didn't you recognize him? I never met him, remember? The guy I called in Paris claimed to be Ubier, but he sounded nothing like the man in the police station. Maybe the professor really is innocent. Now, it's too much of a coincidence that he's here in Cuaramonte. Labano tells me he's been... Seeing a lot of you. We meet sometimes for lunch, a drink. After you'd gone back to the States, I was pretty lonely, you know. Lonely? You must have been desperate. Couldn't you just visit the zoo or something? You came on a little strong with the general. I was nearly flattering his ego, Georges. Every man has his Achilles heel. Maybe. But that guy's weakness isn't in his foot. 
Yeah. Did you notice that chart on the police station wall? Yes. It looked like a map to me. But I couldn't make out the details. Whatever it was, the general didn't want us to see it. Okay, so before this episode gets too long, we're gonna go ahead and call it an episode here, so... Thanks guys for watching! Next time, we'll be... I don't know, I guess we'll go back outside and see what else is going on here. So thanks guys for watching! This is Lancer, saying if you're gonna do it, do it hard. I'll see you guys next time. Later.